Ada Price is actually looking fairly decent right now. Okay, I will take what the market is giving to us at this point. Floating around that 31 cent level, showing some resilience, showing some strong support. And this is a good thing when, you know, there's really bombs going across, off across the entire crypto market, you know, inflation, uh, SEC FUD, interest rates, and much, much more happening. Ada price has been resilient, and this is a good thing to see. Now, here's the thing, all right? We gotta remember that ADA is vulnerable to the broader crypto market, okay? <clears throat> it does not move independently. When the crypto market moves, when Bitcoin moves, ADA will typically follow what it is doing, apart from yesterday, apparently, right? But something big happened overnight, and I talked about it in an earlier video today, and it's something that everybody needs to be aware of. This would directly affect ADA price, okay? And what I'm talking about is the USDC DPEG. Now, at the time making this video, the USDC price is actually sitting around 90 cents, okay? And that's not where it's supposed to be, right? It's pegged to the US dollar, it's supposed to be $1 all the time, and we've seen it, <clears throat> this is the first time it's, it's de-pegged this much, all right? And what it has to do with, if you guys didn't watch my video earlier, is that Silicon Valley Bank announced that they're going under, and Circle, who backs USDC, a lot of their reserves, or a, a sizable portion of their reserves, are held in Silicon Valley Bank. It's actually uh, about, about 9, 10% or so. I think it's like $3 billion or something like that. Now, this isn't a massive, massive amount. I mean, obviously $3 billion is massive, but it's not like it's a gigantic, like 30% or something like that. But here's the thing. We don't know if that money is going to come back, right? If they are gonna be able to have access to those funds. And what it did was it caused kind of a mass exodus. You know, people were basically running for the door on USDC. And when that happens, you start to see a lot of volatility on a stable coin, which you're not supposed to see. Now, DAI also depegged as well, <clears throat> and this had to do with a lot of their reserves being held in USDC. Go figure. So USDC depegs, DAI is going to depeg. And now here's the thing: I don't know if if USDC is going to collapse or anything like that. I don't think it's going to. But if for whatever reason it were to follow that route and and truly depeg and really drop and and completely go under, this would affect Cardano. Okay, it would affect ADA price. 100%. It would send shockwaves through the entire crypto market, and this would be likely a black swan event. This would be the second uh, second coin DPEG in two years, it would be, I believe, or second stablecoin collapse in two years, because obviously we had uh, UST last year, and then we had, would have USDC this year. Now, again, I don't think it's going to follow that route. I don't think the fall is going to be that bad, and I think that USDC is going to work its way back up here. But these are some of the risks, obviously, that we run with being in crypto. Nothing is obviously 100% safe, you know, especially when, you know, collateral like this goes under randomly. It's weird, right? We've now seen two thing, two banks collapse like this. We've seen Silicon Valley Bank, and we've also seen um, Silvergate collapse, you know, both of these over the last two weeks. So kind of kind of troubling there, but, you know, Cardano is continuing to build. All right, that's what, what it's all about. It's all about the future. It's not about the here and now. These short-term prices, they don't really matter for the most part. You know, the long-term goal is really what we're all focused on here anyways. But thought I'd keep you guys updated. Just pay attention to this. Be aware that if this does happen, this could cause the broader crypto market to drop and ADA along with it. But I appreciate you guys as always. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely make sure you guys show your support below. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell. Stay updated anytime there's new content live here on the channel. Hope you guys have a great day and I hope to catch you in the next one. Take care.